A brand new anime season is upon us. Ningen Fushin is the first one that I'm gonna start reacting to. I have no clue what it's about. Let's just begin. The city itself is a labyrinth. And they risk their lives for money? Kill monsters? Nick. Boss Buckler? Wait, that's uh, Sally <laughs> from uh. Oh, he's got a girlfriend too? Yeah. Yeah, this guy's doing amazing. Got a girlfriend? Got a. <laughs> he's uh. That's pretty much it, actually. <laughs> Wait, he's been kicked out. Dad, how could you? This is going pretty fast. Is girlfriend gonna dump us? Oh no! <laughs> it's like a minute! Our life is going down the shitter already! And we lost everything. Huh? Huh? My immersion! Idols exist in Labyrinth City, I guess. What? Idols exist in this world, okay? Sure. Agate is our favorite idol. They're gonna do the the otaku uh, idol cheering squad dance where they go like they, they did a lot of that in the Akiba Maid War. Too bad I couldn't react to more of that cuz copyright. She, cuz she was a gold digger. She was just there for clout the entire time. Hmm? I don't think like an adventurer. He's not an adventurer. Man, this is depressing. It's actually Pouring us aside. Having a moment, are we? Somebody save us. A gate. Idol, the idol? A gate? Uh. Who is it? Oh, it's her, it's her. That's her hair. So, new girlfriend, maybe? Hmm? Do you want to come over? Are you okay? Oh, we actually shoot her off. Wait till he realizes who she is. Take it to the next concert? Take it to the next concert? Maybe... What do you mean? It's her. I guess it's because she's not in her outfit? Oh, never mind. Hey, why are you talking to hmm. That's, uh... Oh, she even gave him the umbrella! Now, here's the thing. Is this an act of kindness? Or is there any... Romantic intent involved. This is dangerous. You know, she could be just doing her job. She's just an idol, right? That's her yet. Did you just realize? That's her, man. That's your favorite idol. The guy beside him is crying. Oh, you even got the eye gate merch. Oh my god. How many merch do you have? I, I like the one in the left corner, the big face one. That's so cute, actually. So he's only being an adventurer, so he can buy merch for idol stuff. That's why he got kicked out, and Nick was like, Bruh. Bruh. Get the fuck out. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> um... Oh, I'm just practicing. Yeah. Ha. Ha. Oh, that guy even said, yeah! <laughs> See, that's how you do it, man. You should have done it. He led one with the same intro. Yeah. Yikes. And this is a big table, too. Just occupying this one big table. You know what would be more awkward? If a party came in, and they're like, Excuse me, um, is anyone sitting here? Are you sitting by yourself? Can you, like, move? Party of three. Is this the party that's gonna kick us out? Oh, no! I don't think gonna share the table! This is so awkward! Huh? Long blonde hair I saw. Tail. Oh. And? Mm, wizard looking dude? Wanna, can I join? Ask. Yeah. Can I join? I'm about to get smacked the fuck up. Watch. <laughs> a level of conquerors hockey just for a bit. She does. She does stick out a bit. That big hat doesn't help. <laughs> it's a nice hat though. Assassin? Mage assassin? I don't know. This guy's a drunk. It's a drunk cleric? And what's the other dude? The the uh the tail dude. Nick is very observant. Nick is like attention to detail is pretty good. And you, a dragonian. Which is she? Oh. This party's mood is pretty bad. It's actually really shitty. Oh, we smiled. Did we get a smile back? Nothing? No. <laughs> Yikes. Drinks on me, guys! 
No, I, we're broke. No! Forget your girlfriend, dude! She was just there for the fucking cloud and the gold! This is such a depressing table. Holy shit. Bro, this entire table is just so depressing. Maybe this is the perfect party to join. Just a party of misfits. I won't give up because I need to buy merch for a gate. What is it? Oh? Huh! Synchroed. We're all pretty much the same. No one trusts anybody. We just fucking hate the world. But together. An unlikely meeting at a bar. Suddenly. Whoop. I don't know. Move forward. And be able to trust people again. Both water and wood. Wonder if they're going to go into depth of the magic mechanics in this world? Kiana is her name. Okay. A lot of like expectations placed on her. I'm sure it all went wrong and then she felt betrayed somehow. That she just looks so cute in this overly just big size and <laughs> room. Alex a boyfriend? Oh no, she's getting cheated on! Who is this? Yeah, Tiana. Well, it's like a, oh, hey, Tiana, that's not a good look. She's so proud to tell him all her achievements, but he doesn't give a fuck. Who's the girl beside him? Lin. Uh, hello? Merchants who got rich. <laughs> oh, they're schoolmates? I, but she didn't even know her. The fuck will we just asked what her name was? Hmm? Seduced the school's teacher. She's lying. Cap. Cap. Wait, what? Taking bribes. I think she's the one bribing the teacher because you know she got the money because she's a merchant. What's going on here? We're getting gaslit. Alex is gaslighting us. Wait, this is a setup. She is working hard. This guy's voice acting is actually really good. <laughs> what the fuck? My fiance is better than me, so he's super insecure. Okay. Alex fucking sucks. She deserves so much better than him. He's so insecure. Now he's making up all these lights, gaslighting. And look, he's got Lin now. It's for the money, right? No clue. This dude, man. I hope. We get to dunk on these people in the future episodes. Oh, that's a deep question. I got no clue. Yourself? Oh. Just a just in time. Oh. Your chance to get rich. Wait, wait, she's horse racing, she's gambling? Wait! What are we doing? Gambling on fucking <laughs> Did she win? I can't tell. Did she win? Oh, she actually won! Remember, gambling is an investment, guys. Get it twisted. You can rebuild your lives. Don't do that. Oh, I, I couldn't. I was monologuing. Did she lose? And then she lost all the money immediately. Those eyes, man. So cold. Oh, maybe she's not meaning to be cold, though. Yeah, she's got that uh, resting bitch face. <laughs> Dude, she's so cute. What do you mean? And we're back to real time. And we're for sure gonna get the backstories of other characters too. Maybe not in this episode. Oh, did you just tell us everything? Holy shit. That's a... Some heavy shit to tell a stranger, man. How did you become a drunk? I'm sure some kind of like story betrayal. Um, I'm sure this is just a very wholesome relationship. Nothing that, you know, priests in real life would do. Mmm, yikes. <laughs> she really doesn't have like a bag or anything. She always carries it on her shirt like this. Huh? Uh, um, careful. Careful! Careful! What did I just say? No, you are underaged, girl. Get the fuck up before we get framed for pedophilia. Uh oh. Oh, this isn't good. We're getting set up. I'm a man of the cloth. I can bear no child. I actually have no idea what Claire's. Not allowed to date anyone. They have to live a life of celibacy and just solitude. 
<laughs> Jesus. I mean, I think that's an appropriate reaction from a kid that's like an infatuated with somebody else that she can't, you know, just got pretty much rejected by. Yeah, yeah, it's such a kid. Is she gonna do something? Is she gonna frame us? What is she gonna do? Uh oh. Uh oh. Huh? Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. What does she do? What did Miro What does she do? We're getting gaslit. He was kind of paying for the herbs, though. It was for the herbs. Bro, why would you. What? This is so ridiculous. Bro. I thought some other adult would be in part of the play, but the kid is the one that fucking frames us for this? That's so fucked. That's so- And he tried his best to just be the man in the cloth. Bro. Mural. <laughs> you know how I said in the previous flashback, I hope we get to, you know, uh, this girl. <laughs> you know how we said, I hope we get to, in the future episodes, you know, fuck those people that betrayed us? I can't, I- This is just a kid, though. I don't know how I feel about that. Please don't tell me he also gets betrayed by the bartender. Like, this seems like something decent. Oh. Wait, wait, huh, huh? Why were you in the same bed? What is she about to do? I feel like we just got betrayed again. I, I don't know. Maybe it's a good thing. She's making us breakfast and everything. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe I'm jumping to conclusions. Oh, he's up for yourself, right? <laughs> Yo, he healed that back up. She was thrown in the back all night. <laughs> you saw it for yourself. I'm not reading too deep into it, right? I mean, you're literally telling me. Dude, let's stay here forever. We can start a new life. Oh, never mind. She's saying like, fuck off, go to the Labyrinth City. Why? A new life? Fall in love. How about right now? How about you? Right now! <laughs> we can fall in love right now! <laughs> I want to see the world with you, bartender! Nah, Dragonian. Tell us about your story. Yeah, tell us your story. Can you talk? Yeah, you can. Did she go? She got betrayed again. Oh, she got super drunk and now she's babbling. Wait, the story! I need to. Everybody's looking the other way. They're like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. I'm not associated with her. But we didn't get the Dragonian story. I mean, we kind of got a vague idea, but I guess that's important for later. <laughs> Oh, it's Tiana's place. Never mind, never mind. That's right. If it was Nick's place, it'd be uh, a gate merch everywhere, right? I, 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 how is there idols in this world? I'm just like... It's, it's so out of place. Oh, you wanna... Yeah, you wanna party up? Come on! Can we make enough money to survive? Oh, she's listening through the door too. That's right! Come on, let's party up! Survive as in, I need to buy merch. This is quite the speech out of nowhere. They're actually like, oh, this is actually, hmm. Maybe it's reaching their hearts. The four of us can't trust anybody. Just a party of people that can't trust anyone. To save the world. Also, there was a talk about, like, beating the Demon King, though, right? Happened for a long, long time. Yeah, 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 I know. That's, like, endgame stuff. Now, that was a very interesting premise of the first episode. Not really action-heavy. No, not really. It was all storytelling. It was still compelling to see the four people kind of just traumatized by all the betrayal stories. We didn't get the Dragonian story just yet. I'm sure it might be super important, so they'll tell us later in the episodes. But, promising start. I hope that next episode just is good but hey if you stick around the song and if you enjoy my reaction consider subscribing and checking out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content and until next time take care